Hello everyone, welcome to Retro Stack. Myself Karthik Pondusamy. You are at the right place to learn in and out of Java concepts. If you guys are very new to our channel, please consider subscribe to it and don't miss to watch till the end of this video. In this video, we are going to learn about what are the difference between vector and array list in Java. As you know, vector and array list both comes under collection framework, but still there are some differences where we can get in deeper into this. So vector is a synchronized one, array list is a non-synchronized one. What does it mean? Vector is a class, array list is a class. Inside this class, we have a methods, isn't it? All the methods inside the vector class is synchronized one. All the methods inside the array list is a non-synchronized one. So synchronized, non-synchronized. So basically this is all related to a multi-threading concept. If you guys think about uh, synchronized, if the methods are synchronized, it means like it's a thread safe. So vector is a thread safe class and array list is a not a thread safe class. And when I say thread safe, it means at a time only one thread can able to access an object or the resource at the same time, right? So only one thread can able to access it. But in terms of array list, multiple threads can able to access an object at the same time. If you guys see here, only T1 can able to access the object. But in terms of object, like in terms of array list, T1, T2, T3, even n number of multiple threads can able to access the object. So these are the difference between vector and array list. And because of this one, the performance is very low. The reason is that if I want to make it multi-threading to make it work better way, I can't do it in vector. But in terms of array list, because of multiple threads can able to access the object, definitely the performance will be higher than the vector. So this is the uh, difference in terms of performance wise. And then whenever there is a limit gets uh, reached, right, the capacity get reached, so it actually increments 100%. So vector actually increments 100% growth or shrink also 100% dynamically. But in terms of array list, it actually increments 50% grow and also shrink dynamically. So this is the difference between how it actually grow and shrink dynamically. So this is actually vector do 100% uh, uh, grow or shrink. Uh, array list actually shrink or grow 50%. And in terms of iterator and enumerator are possible in terms of vector. So vector has both possibility of doing iterator as well as enumeration. In case of array list, only iterator is possible, enumeration is not possible. And in case of like uh, thinking about like when we have to use vector and when we have to use for arrays, it's all depends on your uh, project requirement. So if your requirement says, you know, you want to deal with uh, n number of uh, performance and also in terms of you can, you want to implement multi-threading concept, definitely you can go for array list. So uh, vector is a legacy one. Basically, we don't prefer to use vector than the array list. The reason is that array list is preferred because by default, array list is not a thread safe, meaning like not synchronous. So by default, the performance will be better. But if our requirement says that, you know, you want to implement some uh, thread safe mechanism, definitely you can use it with the help of collections util. There is a util collections, there is a class called collections. Uh, this is a utility class. Basically, you have a method called synchronous list of. Using this one, you can get the synchronized version of array list. So these are the difference between vector and array list. So if you guys uh, get a chance to uh, uh, answer this question, let's say if someone asks you like vector and array list in interview program or interview uh, panel, then definitely you have to think about all these points. So definitely uh, you will be able to uh, answer in a good position. I hope you guys have understood the concept very clearly, but still if you guys have any questions or any clarifications required, please post your comments in the comment section and I will be more than happy to assist. Keep watching all our videos. There are a lot more videos to come. And if you guys like this video, please hit the thumbs up button and also subscribe to the channel and share with your friends. Don't forget to hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next interesting video guys.